It's uh, rare, but sometimes there's a moment where it seems like it's showing signs of intelligence. Right now our AIs are extremely specialized to a single task that they've been trained on. Recently we've developed a benchmark that uses Sonic the Hedgehog levels. We put the agent in a Sonic the Hedgehog level it's never seen before and see how long it takes to master it. Previous work on AI for games has mostly focused on reaching an extreme level of mastery of games. Let's give a round of applause. Open AI have beaten the world's best Dota players with this machine. We're focusing on reaching some competent level very quickly, the way a human would. Learning fast is important. Any real world application, you have to learn fast on the fly because there's no way all of the information could have been programmed into the AI. We're running the OpenAI Retro Contest. We give contestants a set of levels that they can train their agents on. They can submit their codes to our server and we evaluate their code on a set of secret test levels that no one's ever seen before, created by level designers. No one is going to be able to solve it uh, the first time they see the level. So it's a, a challenge of whether their AI learns correctly. So the AIs are usually frustratingly slow at learning. Uh, so you watch it do the same thing over and over again and make the same mistake. There are loop-de-loops -loops in Sonic and it'll just keep trying to run up the loop-de-loop -loop and never figure out that you have to pick up speed to get through it. Current AI has trouble transferring knowledge between related problems. The different levels contain some of the same elements uh, mixed up and combined in different ways. So they would have the same spikes and the same kinds of enemies. So if you master Act 1 and Act 2, then you should know how to solve Act 3 pretty well. We need better algorithms for exploration, for the AI to transfer knowledge so it's not solving each level from scratch. If we have a better algorithm, it should be able to solve the levels in a matter of minutes. So the contest runs from April 5th to June 5th. We expect that there will be a few contestants who have really good entries to the contest. We might offer a job to the winners, yeah. If you train uh, the AI for a very long time, it often reaches a superhuman level of performance. If you release an AI system in the wild, you give it some objective function, it'll maximize that objective in some possibly unexpected way, which could have bad consequences. On the other hand, that means it can also come up with creative solutions that we might not come up with. Though I think this will be a concern in the long run. I don't think an AI that you train on Sonic is going to be able to do anything other than Sonic. 